The Insurance Institute for Highway Safety tested this 2006 Volkswagen Passat with the front end offset barrier test at 40 miles an hour. We can clearly see by the front end damage to this vehicle the amount of force that's involved in that kind of crash. The front rail, the entire engine compartment was compressed with a tremendous amount of deformation all through the front of the engine compartment. We can see that the front rail is also deformed from all of the energy uh, caused by this collision. All of this, this entire area acted as a huge crush zone in an energy absorption area to try and absorb all the energy from hitting the barrier at 40 miles an hour. However, the part that's so unusual about this vehicle, notice the windshield on this vehicle has no damage at all. No cracks, no chips. This windshield remained intact through that uh, 40 mile an hour impact. Also, when we look at the side aperture and the whole passenger cage of this vehicle, it stayed almost completely intact. There's no visible damage really anywhere on the door openings of this vehicle. Typically, years ago, there used to be damage that you would see radiate through this upper rail assembly. Whenever you saw a front end hit on a vehicle like this, you always saw like uh, a buckle in the roof from this whole assembly coming up and hinging in this area. There would be a buckle here, it would start to move here, it would start to move here. Many times there would be damage in the rocker panel as well. This is all done through the use of high strength steels and reinforced panels. This particular vehicle also utilized what we called laser welding where all of the reinforcements, outer panels and inner panels, are held together with a series of laser welds, which basically uh, are done by a laser uh, fusing all the panels together to create a very strong bond between the inner panels, the outer panels, and the reinforcements. I'd also like to uh, show you that when you look on the inside of the vehicle, um, at the floor pan, Another common area for, passenger, uh, for passengers to get injured is very often in serious front end collisions, the whole floor assembly and reinforcements start moving back, often causing leg injuries and knee injuries. This vehicle has almost no noticeable deformation or intrusion uh, of the front end assembly into the floor. So once again, this vehicle held up extremely well considering the amount of collision force that it needed to endure. So once again, uh, with the new technology between the materials and, um, and the design put into vehicles today, um, vehicles are being made more safe than ever before.